Today I'm gonna to talk about collaboration. That's right, collaboration. You wanna make more in F&I? Then you need to have collaboration. You have to have collaboration with your sales managers. You have to have collaboration with your sales staff. You have to have collaboration with your accounting department. And you have to have collaboration with your service department. Because what you do through that collaboration is you develop a culture. A culture that embraces F&I. And F&I is a critical component to dealerships today, especially today. You know, after the pandemic, everybody's coming in now and looking for discounts. They're looking to negotiate car deals. And the dealer principal is relying on that F&I department, not only to deliver the car, but to make additional profit. Because we're not making it in the front end anymore like we were. In order to get collaboration, I think it all starts with your access to your CRM tool, your customer management tool. Just like your sales managers have access to the CRM tool, you need to have access to that CRM tool. Because you that's the pulse of the dealership. And just like the sales managers and general manager, you need to know what's going on so that you can take action early and often. Early introduction, to the process of selling a car is critical to today's financial services manager. It's really important that you can get involved in these deals, the manufacturing of these deals early in the process so you understand what's going on, so that you have conversations with the customer prior to them sitting in front of you and you're going through a menu presentation and try to sell them something. You have to form a connection with your customer and it all starts with the CRM tool. I often talk about when you walk into the dealership, don't walk in the front door, walk in the service door, have a conversation with your service advisors and your service manager. Ask them if they feel they have any opportunities sitting in the showroom or in the waiting room. Customers in there for an oil change that have 35,000 miles on the vehicle. Previous customers so that you can go in there and offer them service contracts or any other products that are available after the sale of the vehicle. Walk through the service door every morning instead of the front door. And that's how you develop collaboration in your service department. You need to train your sales staff. You need to be part of the training process in your dealership. That's how you get respect from your sales manager, your dealer principal. And that's how you gain respect from your sales consultants. You need to train them how you want to be introduced. And you have to follow through. When they introduce, you have to follow through with your process. I mean, after all, if you don't follow your process, why should you hold the sales managers or the sales consultants accountable to follow their process? Process drives profits. There's no question about it. And whether you have the right process or the wrong process, if you follow a process, you're going to make more sales. It's just that simple. So as I mentioned, the CRM tool is the start. Walk through the service door and train your sales staff. And that's how you're going to get collaboration. Let's talk about accounting now. How do you get collaboration with the accounting department? It's very simple. Rather than have them come to you with challenges, you go to them with the challenges. You fix it before they get to it. And you should have heat sheet meetings. Depending on the size of the scope of your dealership, you should get your whole management team together. Your use car manager, your sales managers, your F&I managers, your controller, your general manager, a GSM, and sit in an office and discuss those contracts contracts in transit. Work that heat sheet and assign responsibility to everybody in that meeting so that we can get these deals funded a lot quicker. That's how you create collaboration. That's how you manage your F&I department. There's a number of other things that you can do just instead of just walking through the service department and looking for opportunities in the waiting room. There's other things you can do than just train your sales staff, get early involvement, get the CRM. You have to be a manager. You have to manage through other people. You can't do it all yourself. There's a lot of minutiae that goes on in F&I. And the more collaboration you have, the more respect you have in that office, the more money you're going to make in that office. So with that said, every department in that dealership needs to know the value of F&I, especially today. As I mentioned earlier, we need you to increase profit on these deals, not just to deliver the car and sell service contracts. We need to tie customers into that dealership through maintenance programs, through tire and wheel programs, through key replacement programs, fabric and paint treatment programs, and often service contracts, okay? Look at it that way. The benefits of selling products for retention, especially maintenance, CSI, customer satisfaction by getting involved in those deals early is only going to increase CSI and people are going to respect that and they're going to like that. And that's how you create a culture in F&I, culture in your dealership, F&I awareness. And everybody likes F&I. And F&I is really important. So no one's saying to the customer, the guy in the box over there is going to try to sell you something. They're saying, you're going to get really excited because Bob, the financial services manager, is a great guy. And he's going to go over a number of options that are available to you. Listen to what he has to say because they're all really good options. Now, if you like what you heard, you got to go to prodprep.com. Check us out. And don't delay. Until next time, go get them.